Hello, John here, also known as Venonator, and welcome back to the TGC Tours. We're into round three of the Storm in Norman Desert Challenge, which is an absolute huge surprise to me. I didn't think we were going to make it, to be honest. Got one under in that second round. Um, it's a quite a high scoring, or low scoring, I guess you'd actually say, um, like tournament um, course. This course is quite an easy one by the looks of it for the most part. Um, so I wasn't expecting five under as an overall score. I got four under on the first round to be enough to, um, to actually qualify um, to make the cut. But we, we just about made it. We're on the border. Five under was the lowest score. Uh, the highest score is confusing in golf, isn't it? But we just about made the, the cut, essentially. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on with the round number three then. Um, we're not going to be in the promotion mark places very likely, um, just because I've looked at the, the top 10 players, etc., for uh, CCJ and it looks like 20, 20 yards under. Um, I'm on five under, so I'd have to do really well in, I don't know, 10 under rounds for two rounds, which isn't likely, but you never know. Um, so we're on the white tees, um, pin set three. Uh, so wind speed is low from the northeast. It's moderate for um, fairway firmness. Default green firmness, uh, moderate green speed. Okay, so the green firmness, let's have a look. The greens are firm anyway. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's get started then in round number three. Um, so after the round number two, I did actually go away and I started practicing um, some spins, etc., and learning the ranges of my golf clubs, etc. I had it all written down. I've actually made like a little table and everything to try and get a bit more of an understanding of how my um, my golf clubs work, etc. So fingers crossed that's going to make a difference. Um, let's see. Let's try and start off well here. Something a YouTube commenter said to me is that. Um, I tend to rush it a little bit off the tee sometimes. So I am going to try and slow it down a little bit to see if that helps. Um, right, so this is going to be 120 with the elevation. Okay, that's a decent shot. Oh, it's gone really right, actually. Okay, so the actual range was pretty much spot on. Right, so there's not actually much movement here, but it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one to know how much it's going to move from one way to the other. And, oh, I'm surprised I hit that so hard, actually, to be honest. But that's all right. So it's got close enough for us to get a par, which is, it's a good way to start any round, really. But, um, yeah, happy enough with that to start with. But, yeah, um, so the YouTube commenter um, has said, um, yeah, he's commented on a few um, videos, which I'm really... I'm, Happy to have people commenting, um, subscribing, and liking my videos. It's fantastic to see people engaging with the channel. Uh, I think that a bit too right, unfortunately. Hit it too slow. Um, but yeah, he's, he's suggesting that I slow things down a little bit. To be honest, that was me not paying attention enough. Um, also mentioned about chip shots. Oh wow, what a setting up here now okay. for our third shot. Um this is actually a splash shot, interesting. Please bounce well. Splash well enough. Par here with this putt. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, oh no. Oh, so we got a bogey on the second hole. That's okay. But um, yeah, saying about chip shots and respecting them a bit more as well, which is something I'll bear in mind. Um, so I have been practicing on other tours as well. So I've been practicing on Elite and um, and Platinum and that sort of thing. I released a video recently of me playing on the Platinum Tour. And I actually got nine under in a round, which was fantastic. So if I can get something like that again today, that'd be amazing. So that was a decent shot um, right there. But as I say, I've been figuring out the club ranges and how to get a bit more out of it all. So it's going to take for the elevation here. So we're looking at. Yeah, OK, so I'll just take three off to make this easier. So 75 there. Um, if I do that and if I do this um, with the, the left stick 
and lower that down a little bit. That will lower the range very slightly on this on this shot. Still gone way too far, unfortunately. Do nicely. But that's okay. And here we go for the birdie. So it's a birdie opportunity here, and it's gone in. There we go. So we've cancelled out that bogey on the last one. So we're back to five under. But yeah, optimistic about these next two rounds. The pressure is off, really, because the chances of us getting the top ten isn't very high. But, you know, it's, it's all about um, staying positive and enjoying the game at the same time. Um, I'm going to go one down here and just try and get this into the centre of the fairway. Hit it a little bit too left, and unfortunately, there's a bunker. Oh, oh, good. The bounce, the bounce worked in my favour. Okay, so we're going to lose ten feet, two hundred and fifty, which is about here. If um, sometimes that's quite handy, changing the the club you're using to sort of see what the range would be. So I know this one here with the elevation will take ten off, so it's two hundred and fifty. Two four nine is very close, so I can see that as a reference point here. So it's going to go about here. If I do that, then. If I actually increase the range a bit, hopefully I can hit this well. Yeah, I've hit it too plane. fast. So that's really derailed that whole calculation that I just did there. Okay. Um, is that going to... It's into the light rough, is that? Light rough I can handle. Okay, let's go with a flop shot. That was actually decent in terms of how that's worked out. Oh, wow, that's really bounced. And it's nice. stopped pretty decently. And for that was an okay shot in the end. The round, if you sink this. Ah, that's no, it didn't turn enough. That's all right, though. Three footer left for this one. Yeah, I've got a par. Par's so nice. We'll just keep trying to plug away here and see if we can have a good another good round. I mean, even the one under round, it's still good. It's under par. Uh, right, so we're looking at 200, basically, because we've got 33 feet, so you take, a, it's a third of that, so it's 11 feet um, added on because we're going downhill. So 203, well, that'll be 200, right, okay. I'm actually going to go with the free iron. And really pull these two together like this. This seems to do quite a bit. The club in a good way lowers the distance quite a bit. And Maybe fingers crossed. Left here. All right, that's. Oh, it's wow. Yeah, um, this is something I really need to look into is well, fairway firmness and what that really does to the club. But um, yeah, the calculation was pretty good there. It's all right. Okay, yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, it's very fast. Here we go. This is for par. It's a tricky putt, this actually, one. but yeah, there it goes. Got it. Nice. Nice. So yeah, happy enough with that again. So we're we're at even par so far, which you know, pretty happy with that. But yeah, another nice course. I do enjoy playing in this on this one. I'm glad I'm into round three and I can actually play this more competitively. Sometimes when I don't get through, I still play the other two rounds. This is a risky one, isn't it? So we're looking at, oh, okay, so. So it's gonna add a little bit to it. Am I gonna go crazy here? This is a bit of a silly shot, isn't it? Oh no, is that going wait? Oh no, it's not going too far. Okay, well, it's on the green. Look at you driving this green. It's on the green. It's an outside angle, uh, outside. Um, Here you go. Just pop this in the hole. Chance of eagle. Let's see. It's a long way. It's too far. Oh wow. Okay, so birdie's looking hard now as well. To be honest. From the cup. That's all right. My pacing seems to be a little bit off with the the putting lately. Ah, oh, there you go. That was a good putt, though. Wow, there you go. Wow, absolutely monstrous, according to John. But, um, great. Fantastic. There you go. So, one under for the round. That's a great putt. Um, 
Yeah, the pacing has been a bit hit and miss recently. But I mean, well, it works there, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um, so, okay, so we're looking at like nine, basically. So 107, 106. I'm just going to hit this and hit it with 100% power. Should get close. I've hit it too fast. So that's, yeah. Oh, it's rolling back down the hill. There you go, that's worked. Good stuff. Setting up a 12 foot putt here. Oh, oh, oh just, no. Just uh, you can see how wonky that, that putt was, part. but that's all right. Okay, so we got par. That should have been a birdie realistically, but that's okay. I'm happy enough with another par. So, yeah, one under for the round through seven. Six under overall. Right, okay, so this will bounce quite a bit. So that, hmm. So this is something I don't really do, is look at the, the way I'm actually hitting it to. So it, it moves up a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to hit this flat and uh, like straight and just see how we get on. So I've hit it too left, so it's too fast. All right, so light rough, that, that's all right. Okay, careful on this one. We're in the green side rough. Okay, so here's a chip. I'm trying to get better at my chipping. That was all right. That was okay. Right, eight feet to the cup. Another chance at a birdie. We're getting That's birdie right. opportunities, which is fantastic. I'm really happy that we're getting them. Um, so there you go. There's another one. So we've got three birdies so far today. Um, we got a bogey, so we're only two under, but that's still good. That's good. I'm happy to be getting the birdie opportunities. We're getting smarter with the way that we play, and luckily the wind today is making it easier to calculate the shots, which does help. But yeah, in a very positive mood. So yeah, another another one where there's no wind at all. This one I can just basically just hit straight. It's gonna we're gonna lose ten yards, so these the bunkers probably shouldn't come into play too much here. Shouldn't. No, they don't. Okay, about oh, random. Oh, that guy just here. changed on the left there. That was a different person a minute ago. He must have gone off to get a drink or something. Who knows? Um, right, so we're looking at... Okay, so... So... What do I want to do here? I'll probably just go with this hybrid and increase the range slightly on it. Right, so I hit it well, but only 98%, which means the range isn't... Oh, wow, that's not, not too bad. I wonder if 100% of that would have got really close then. I'm going to lower the... what I call spin, but some people call the lob, uh, the, the pit... What do you call it? The loft, that's the one. Out there, today. That's your fourth there we go. Birdie so far. Fourth birdie. We're doing well. So learning more about the clubs is definitely making a difference here. Although the wind is also most likely helping, and some of the conditions in general may just be be ideal. Okay, so this is going down quite a bit. So it's over ten. Um, I might just go something a bit crazy here and go a little bit to the left and go. And this is going to be a hard shot to execute. And I didn't execute it very well. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why you don't go for those shots. Especially not when you're actually playing seriously. That is... Okay, so... That's going to go over. Because of the wind. But if I... Um... This is tricky with the 5-iron. 5 iron is one of these middle clubs where I'm not sure how to lower the distance properly on them. Like all the, the what's it, like the woods and the driver etc I know you, you can increase or decrease the distance by the changing the loft. So, well we'll call it the loft, the right stick so some people call that the, the back spin or the top spin or whatever. It gets confusing, people call different sides different things. Um, and then the irons tend to be the left stick tends to make a difference and um, to the, if you lift them up but yeah there you go well, i got par it all gets very confusing but yeah we're playing well i'm really happy with how we're playing actually um so we're on eight under for the tournament which is decent enough 
Um, so, I think I'm just going to go with this dead on. Okay, so I hit it a bit to the right with the, the swing path, and then the, I hit it fast. Oh, these are tricky. Tricky um, pots, these ones. And yeah, that's you can see why. They turn quite a bit. Okay, and there you go. So that's, that's another par, an eight under still. Pretty, pretty good, um, pretty good going so far. Got yeah, that one bogey, and to be honest, it was lack of concentration that did that, really. Okay, I'm gonna go with this here. Go with the free wood. Okay, so I hit that too slow. This could go into a really bad position, and it has. Right, so that is not what I want. How do I get around this? Like, literally. Right, so, oh, so it's a par four. Going through some leaves. Oh, good. The leaves actually helped there. They slowed it down. Yeah, that's wonderful. Back that probably should have been a chip shot thinking about it. Oh, well, well, we survived it, so we're okay. Oh. Right, pitch. Is this going to be enough here? I hope so. Right, so I hit it pretty well. Oh, there you go. That's okay. I think this might be a bogey again, unfortunately. Just because of that tree, it was it's a bit tricky. It's, getting there. it's not going to quite get there. It's very close. It's very close. I think we, we played well after hit, hitting so close to that tree. That's unfortunate. Sometimes that sort of thing happens. So yeah, seven under. So we're two under for the round, which two under, you know, it's okay. Pretty much what this week has been, it's been okay. So I'm going to go with a bit more of a blase shot again. So I've gone with high lob. And... Ugh. <laughs> okay. That was not the best shot. I'm gonna go with the pitching wedge here. Executed fairly well. Okay, okay got close enough. The green now. That's good stuff. Now let's try see what we can do with that long putt. Okay, it is a long putt. Um, let's see the speed on this. So we didn't get it. Oh, that's close enough. There we go. And another par. Yeah, so we're sort of getting by, really, for the round. Um, haven't set the world on fire or anything like that. We've been a bit more risk-taking than usual. So the 15, that will add 5. Um, so I know with full... Um, See, this is, I call that loft, but I, I guess it's backspin to some people as well, with a right stick go down like that. Um, so it's 308 plus the 5. 308 is the maximum distance I could get on a driver. Uh, plus the 5 is 313. Which, if I use this... Um, that, what? 313 will not make it. Okay. Well, there you go. That that tells me everything I need to know there. Then, okay. So let's just there we go. Great contact. go with this one. I don't know. I think it would have made it, but it's, it's all right. Sometimes my calculations are not the best. That's pretty good, and with a hundred percent power, that should get close. It has. One stop. Close enough. Third. I would love to have been a slightly closer, just very slightly closer, and gone and had an eagle opportunity. There you go, that's a birdie. That was a good shot. Eight under, we're back to eight under. We're playing well. We are playing well, and there's there's always this progress being made. Right, okay, so this one with the this one you have to be a bit careful not to, to go into the water. So I've hit that slow. 
But that's all right. That's going pretty much where I need it to go. Like Setting up around 130 yards. Okay, so if I go with a normal shot and I want to go, oh, that'd be like more or less dead on. If I very slightly lower this. Okay, so I've hit that very slightly slow as well. I think this one's bound for the green. That's pretty good. That's pretty close. Oh, nice little approach shot. Here's an eight footer. Oh, and there you go. That was a good birdie. And my, yeah, my player is very happy about that one. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, another birdie. A great approach shot. And yeah, a good, a good put in the end as well. Here at nine under. We've got a. And uh, let's see how we do here. So we have four under for the round, I believe that is now. Right, so eight iron. Going to lower this a little bit. I know it doesn't actually... How much difference does it make? I think it makes a decent amount. Oh, no. That was not a good shot at all. Wow. Oh, I'm, um, what the... Oop, that's no good. Well... Alrighty. I don't know what to make of that one. That was an interesting shot. Sorry, I'm going all over the place here. So I need to go with the pitching wedge. Hit it pretty well. I got over the fence. Up here, nestled into this greenside rough. That was a tricky one. That's got pretty close. That was a good chip shot. There you go, that was a bogey. That was unfortunate. It wasn't the best of first shots. I was I got a bit cocky with my calculations. I should have just gone for no spin whatsoever or very little spin. Um, I did miss hit it, obviously. I got fast, so that, that shot, yeah. There's a lot wrong with it. But, um, okay, so definitely this is driver, I think. I'd, I'd want to get over this. Providing they hit it okay, anyway. Little less than pure oh no. Oh no. <laughs> up in the branches okay, here. this is bouncing into a good position. Completely intentional, that one. That was incredibly fortunate, but I am not going to complain. That is good. Okay, so... I'm going to go with the 9-iron. I'm going to lower the spin a little bit. Hit it slightly fast. Yeah, okay. And that approach was a bit wayward. It was a little bit okay, wayward. Here's our third shot. Okay, got close. Nice chip. This one to save par. And there you go, par. That hole, eight under par. Okay, so again, if... It's an okay round. We're, we're playing decently. And best of luck as you bring this one on home. Here Can't say we've we've performed incredibly or anything like that. We've we've, we've survived. Um, because I did make the cut, I have kept both my promotion marks. So next week we have another chance of trying to get promoted. Like about two hundred and thirty yards. Um, right, I'm going to go with this one. So there's, we're going to lose ten yards, but the the hybrid tends to bounce a bit a bit more. So hopefully this bounces in a nice way. It's got close. There you go. So you're right, club. That, I'm, I'm happy with that. That went ex as, exactly as I hoped it would go. Not expected, hoped. And there you go. That's a good way. That's a good way to end it. So I'm very, I'm very happy with that. And oh, there's an eagle. Whoops. I didn't realise that was an eagle. But 500 rounds. Yeah, 500 round, 10 under for the tournament. So I've just matched my first two rounds on my third round. So that's really good. Um, so that's all that there is for today. But gr that was a great positive um, third round. Um, I'll see you very soon for round number four. Until then, bye.